Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be going to Hardee's, and you can see on the sign they have the BFC, the Big Fried Cheese. Uh, I'm going to have one of their Big Fried Cheese Thick Burgers, and um, we're going to see what it tastes like, see what that uh, big hunk of cheese um, actually looks like and tastes like. So I'm going to sit you up in, in uh, the holder and take you to the drive-thru with me. I will hit record this time, and um, I'll be right back. Thank you, guys. Thank you, order. Um, yeah, can I have one of your BFC uh, Angus uh, Thick Burgers? You want the combo? No, just sandwich. All right, anything else? No, that's it. Six thirty-five. Thank you. There you go. Thanks. I'll get you pulled of that blue handicap. Good little fresh. Okay, thank you. So I'm pulling over to a spot. Um, this restaurant, literally, when you come out of there, the it's in the worst spot, I think. It's um, the parking lot's basically just a U shaped around the building, and so when you pull in, you go through drive through, and when you come out of drive through, literally there is no parking after you go through drive through. So you'd either have to pull out and back in, which is crossing the street and coming back, which is kind of dangerous, uh, especially on this road, or um, you have to go somewhere else to sit and eat. So I think it's kind of it's just a bad design. They could have, uh, I don't know, I don't know what they could have done, maybe shifted the building back a little bit but i guess maybe the property behind them uh, wasn't big enough to shift back um i don't know this this restaurant never never has been in a good location and there's another there's a steak and shake right up the street um, up that way and it's it's in the same position it's it's kind of uh it doesn't really have a lot of room although they have more room than this one does but this one's like uh kind of shoved in there this was an older one too it's been here for ages and ages and ages they also had um fries and they they have onion rings too the onion rings look pretty good i don't um there's no need for me to get fries this on this sandwich is enough calories which i'll talk about but um i don't think i need needed to add you know fries or onion rings to it appreciate it. All right, so I'm, now I gotta find figure out where I want to go park at because I don't want to park here. It's in a first of all in a handicap spot, and uh, I might go. Um, I might go Kentucky Fried Chicken's uh, parking lot. I think I've been there before after pulling out of here. Can't believe I actually got out of there. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go park in a parking lot, and then uh, um, I'll be back. All right, so here is the burger. It's in this wrapper, so I didn't want to take it completely apart, but there's the cheese and the sauce, and then there's the burger, and it's got lettuce, a tomato, and I'm assuming there's an onion under there somewhere. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good. I can't remember what the sauce is called. I, I Tammy will look it up and put it in the description, but um, anyway, I'm gonna get the thing uh, camera turned around and let you know how much it costs and all that stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, ignore the KFC behind me. I might be in their parking lot. It's a good sized parking lot. That's why I come over here and it's really close to the Hardee's. So the sandwich by itself, I didn't get the meal uh, combo or anything like that. It was $5.99, 36 cents of tax for Kentucky. So my total was $6.35. I don't think that's bad for an out to eat burger. Um, really, truly, I don't, I don't think that's too bad at all. So I like how they're wrapping them up in these little wrappers so you can kind of hold them uh, while you're, while you're um, sitting and eating. That lettuce is kind of crazy. I'm going to pull off a piece of it just because I don't like that much less. Flick sauce everywhere. Mm. That sauce tastes like um, a thousand all except it's spicy. Ooh, that's got some spice to it. So here's what it looks like. And you see a big fried piece of cheese right there and it's pretty, pretty thick too. Um, I'm going to go in on this side. I'll tell you what, just the burger itself has tons of flavor. Um, it tastes like a, it's almost charbroiled. Get some of the lettuce out of the way. Yeah, I mean, you can see the cheese is kind of a runny inside.
that cheese is melty. And if you're not careful, it will scald you because uh, it's all come out of one side. You can have a big blob of cheese. Um, one side doesn't have any cheese on it. It's all squished out on that side. It's funny. Um, I pulled it out, I think, more than anything. It's actually a really good burger. Even without the cheese, um, it's got a good flavor to it. I'm wondering, let me just pull off a piece of the breading. It kind of tastes like a mozzarella stick, but it has like a, I think it has cheddar cheese in there. It might have some mozzarella provolone, something like that in there. There's some other cheese in there besides just an American, I mean, um, just a cheddar cheese. But um, it kind of reminds you of a cheese stick, like a mozzarella cheese stick, but with other cheeses in there. Uh, the flavor of the breading actually is really good. The sauce is really good on this burger. Um, I haven't had a, a burger from Hardee's in a long time. I like the crispiness that that um, fried cheese adds to it. Um, calorie wise, I looked this up, I believe, and Tammy will correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was 1,060 calories just for the burger. Um, that doesn't count fries or anything else you add to it. So it's definitely not a low calorie. I think that's similar to what I got with the, uh, the KFC, the donut chicken sandwich. That was very similar calories, right around the same area. Um, it's a pretty good sandwich, actually. I really like the burger. I like the, the idea of the melty cheese. You see how much you get. I mean, there's tons of it there. Um, I like the flavors. I like the sauce. It's got a little spice to it. Um, it's not like burn your mouth spice, but it definitely has some, some kick to it. Um, I like it. You just got to get in there and go for it. Um... I'm going to give, I like the idea of it. I do think it's, um, it's a pretty cool idea. It's, uh, it has a good flavor. It's good textures. I love the sauce. I like, like I said, I like just the burger itself. The burger itself is, is really good. So, um, definitely not charbroiled. It's just a grilled burger. But anyway, it's still good. Um, and the bread is good and toasty. So it won't get soggy with the sauce that's sitting on it. Um, I'm actually going to give this sandwich a five. I really do like it. I think it's definitely worth trying out. They have a breakfast sandwich that also has this, and I think they have a Frisco, which is a, is almost like a melt. It has a, um, it has like two pieces of toast, like a, a sourdough bread um, on the top of the bottom instead of a bun. Uh, I just wanted the bun. But I also think they have a breakfast sandwich that has that on there too. I can't swear to that, but I think they do. So, um, so yeah, I think it's definitely worth trying out. If you see them in your area, if you have a Hardee's, um, I think there's a Carl's Jr. is also them. They may have them as well. Um, try them out. I mean, you know, it's a calorie bomb for sure. But, um, you know, what the hell, right? So, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.